Alrighty, it was National Cinema Day here in the U.S., and I decided to at least check out one film. My original plan was to potentially spend the whole day at the theater, but that didn't really work out, so I managed to fit in one film. That film being Will Ferrell and Jamie Foxx's animated feature comedy Strays. It is a movie about a bunch of dogs who are... Two of them are strays. One of them, the whole plot is about this one who is trying to get back at his owner and uh, get back together slash get revenge on the owner. Um, it kind of mixes between the two, the whole movie, and it's all a story about like learning to love and respect yourself and learn to love and respect others. Um, it's a fine film. It was very, very weird, and very, very rated R, but, like, a 16-year-old might enjoy it more than the intended audience. It's a fun story, um, but some, it's a story that has been done better in other, um, films, uh, so I'll have to give it a Hot Pocket score for the story, but now, cinematically, this was very well shot, cinematic-wise, um, it had an amazing soundtrack uh, full of magnificent music that was also like really well utilized within the film um it reminded me of how the song london bridge is not oh snap but in fact oh shit um i forgot about that until it started playing in the movie and i'm like oh god that's right it's not oh snap i was brainwashed and gaslit into thinking that it was all snap when in reality it is not um next up is the movie is fairly funny and that makes for a really good cinematic experience especially on the on cinema day where it was a packed theater i don't think i would have caught this film as packed any other day so i'm really happy i saved it for cinema day as it made it for a much better viewing experience um, I kind of wish I was able to catch another viewing of Blue Beetle on Cinema Day, but the time was not there for me. But it was a very fun experience. A lot of people in the theater were having a great time with the film, and as is usually the case, cinematics is all about that cinematic experience and about how we can do in a cinematic landscape in the cinemas. Um, very good. I'll give it a hand grenade score here because it is very, very rewatchable fun time. The jokes are mostly all very funny and will hit. Um, the directing is pretty solid. I really enjoyed the directing and the choice to make it a live action animated feature like The Lion King, except unlike The Lion King, I feel like there was a bit more emotion with these fake animals, but that's also because at one point they just go on an acid trip. It's not even a spoiler, it's in the trailers, so I don't feel bad saying that. So that was an interesting um, choice to do, and it really worked out for this film in its favor. Um, it does have some really dark jokes, which are, is fine, it's very funny, but it does get a little overwhelming at times with um, the way it's directed. Um, so I'll give the directing a hot pocket score. Uh, the acting, or more in this case, voice acting, uh, was very, very enjoyable. I really enjoyed Will Ferrell, Jamie Foxx, Isla Fisher, and Randall Park, uh, along with some other big voices. Um, I think my favorite line in the film had either to be in the theme park or in this... Oh, I guess they both happened in the theme park, now that I think about it. I've kind of spaced out for a second, but there's one uh, dog who is voiced by Josh Gad, and I think he might have the funniest line in the whole movie. And then there's another one when all four of the dogs are, like, getting out of the theme park, and it, it's a fun moment. And one of those two lines might be my favorite of the whole film, I'm not really going to tell you what the joke is. It's just uh, be on the lookout. You'll recognize Josh Gad's voice pretty instantly if you watched Frozen 
as a matter of fact, my friend, um, literally said, is that Olaf? And I'm like, yes, yes, it is. It does sound like him. Um, very good voice performances from the whole cast, in my opinion, and the main actoring appearance of the actors as well, who showed up on screen and weren't voice acting, uh, dogs also did a great job. Um, I'll give it a solid hand grenade score here. Now, expectations and experience. I didn't really have many expectations for this film. It was more experience-driven. It was very fun to watch in this pretty crowded theater on Cinema Day. It really made up for um, the bland, dead silence of some other films I have seen where a majority of the crowd were the people I dragged to the film. So it was very nice to see a change of pace where I didn't actually know everyone in the crowd. Um, but I do have to say, experience, expectations, it did surprise me a little bit. It was a little more heartfelt than I was expecting, but it was a very fun movie, and I don't know. I'm willing to see it again. It might go up, it might go down in my, uh, rankings, and what my thoughts on the film is, but I thought it was very enjoyable and a worthwhile watch. So, I'll give it a hand grenade score here on the expectations and experience, as it was very fun to experience. Um, other than that, this will be certified. I'll give it a Hot Pocket movie. I'm going to wait a little bit for it to cool off before I rewatch it. Um, but it was very enjoyable. It does have that hand grenade potential. I do think that the real thing holding it back from being easily rewatchable and super explosive is some of the jokes are way too crude to be able to rewatch so consistently. But it's a very fun film, and that's all I have to say about that. So other than that, um, subscribe if you haven't already, comment down below if you've checked out Strays, uh, like, leave a like if you enjoyed, and other than that, I'll leave you guys to it.